Brittany here with day 38 of our 67 days towards our own at-home practice. Another awesome day letting go of the future and focusing on being here now. Um, today is going to, we're going to go over everything we went over yesterday with the added benefit of getting on our feet, getting moving with some twisted sun salutations, detoxing our body, and then adding two new awesome postures. So let's get started. Sitting up nice and tall, opening the chest, belly forward, chest forward, eyes at eye level, deep breaths in, complete breaths out, in and out through the nose, letting go of the belly on inhale, letting all of our air out and exhale. Bring our hands to our heart, setting an intention for our practice. I offer you the same intention as yesterday, ahimsa or compassion for life and practicing it by being compassionate for yourself and only thinking of transformative thoughts here and now that are going to help you here and now. Nothing self-deprecating on what you could, should or would be if you were anyone other than who you are because you're exactly who you are right now and that is who we're working with today so that's a nourishing intention setting that if not setting any other intention that'll keep your mind on your mat grounding the palms bring them close to the body opening the chest elbows lightly in ujjayi breathing in through the nose constricting the throat on exhale Seven more deep breaths, just like this. Each one a little bit slower, a little bit steadier. And gently opening our eyes, loving our new calm sensations and getting onto our feet to do our twisted sun salutations, vinyasa style, two rounds with the breath. Inhaling our arms up, pressing fingers together, exhaling them back into the body, inhaling them to our low back, gentle arch, eyes up and exhale, coming down into our fold. Inhale, bending the left leg, raising the right arm up, exhaling back into the body. Inhaling, bending the right, straightening the left, left arm up, exhaling back into the body. Inhaling our right leg back, hugging the knees, grounding it down. Exhaling, grounding the right hand, lifting the left arm up towards the ceiling. Inhaling back into the body, exhale, left leg back, forearms, forehead down. Inhaling, hugging the elbows down, coming into our baby cobra. Exhale, straight in the right arm, look over the left shoulder. Inhaling to center, hugging the shoulders together. Exhaling to the right, straightening the left arm. Then inhaling back to center. Exhale, toes down, lift the butt, push through the hands, and then inhale, bend the right knee or thread it through. Exhaling back to center, inhaling, bending the left or threading it through, then exhaling back to center. Inhaling our left leg up, gently stacking the hips, and exhale, pulling it forward into our high lunge. Hugging the knees, inhaling the left knee down, coming into our low lunge, grounding the left palm, exhaling our right arm up, then inhaling back into the body. We're going to exhale left foot forward, surrendering our crown, inhaling forearms to our knees, eyes straight, chair, 
exhaling over to the right elbow, left side, inhaling to center, and then exhaling, left elbow, right side, inhaling to center, exhaling, folding back into the body, inhaling up, one vertebrae at a time, exhale our palms to our chest. Inhale, reaching up, lengthening the body. Exhale, bringing it all back in. Inhaling, hands to lower back, gentle assisted arch. Exhale, forward fold. Inhaling, bending the left, straightening the right, right arm up. Exhaling back into the body. Inhale, straighten the left, left arm up, and then exhale back into the body. Inhaling the left leg back, hugging it, grounding it down, and then exhale, ground the left palm, right arm up. Inhaling back to our lunge, exhale, knees together, forearms, forehead down. Inhale, hug the elbows in, baby cobra. Exhale, straighten the right, look left. Inhale to center. Exhale, straighten the left, look right. Inhaling to center and exhaling to our downward facing dog. Inhale, bend the right, thread it through. And then exhale back to center. Inhale, bend the left, thread it through. Exhale back to center. Inhale the left leg up, gentle stack, exhaling our knee forward, high lunge. Inhale, surrendering the back, right palm grounded. Exhale, left arm up, gentle twist. Inhaling back into the body. Exhale, right foot forward, meets the left, forward fold. Inhaling to our chair, maybe bring your hands to our chest as we exhale over to the left side, inhaling to center, exhaling to the right, inhaling to center, exhale to fold, and inhaling up the body one vertebrae at a time, exhale palms to chest. Beautiful. Now we are going to go into our forward fold. I'm gonna come to the side here so you can see a little bit better all the motions. Pressing through the feet, we're gonna come right into our bound angle, preparing our body for all of these other postures. This gently opens up our hips, which makes our wide-legged forward fold a little bit easier for us. So sitting up nice and tall, pressing through the toes, taking a nice deep breath here. As we press through the toes, feeling the engagement in our lower back, feeling the desire to sit up a little bit taller. There's too much tension here, letting the feet come out a little further. If you want some more hip, hip flexibility, bringing the feet in a little bit closer. Going to the place that's most nourishing for you today, sitting up nice and tall, inhaling the arms up. So if someone's pulling your chest up towards the ceiling, chest forward, hips forward. Exhale, we're gonna fold forward. Bring our forearms to our shins, surrendering our head down to our feet. Deep breaths in, complete breaths out. Just two more, just like this. And then gently reaching out the hands, we're gonna walk our hands a little bit forward, helping us fold a little bit more forward, and then gently bring our palms back in. Maybe they're still at the shins, or maybe they wanna be down on the floor and we wanna fold a little bit more. Wherever we're at, you can take three more nice, deep belly breaths here. Slow and steady breathing, keeping our calm, keeping our center. And then gently sliding up the body, sitting up nice and tall. <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to straighten the left leg out, keeping the right leg in. And we are going to learn a new posture 
called head to knee or jano sirsana. When we're in head to knee, we have one of our feet inside the, uh, the opposing groin. And our body is going to want to be right over the center because our hips are splayed to the side. So we're going to want to shift our hips so they're over the leg that's out. We're going to inhale our arms up, chest up, hips, chest forward, hips forward. Exhale, folding forward over that leg. We want bo both hands, the whatever side we're not folding on, that arm's going to want to bow up. If you notice I'm sitting, I'm sitting naturally to the side. So I'm going to have to engage that shoulder down, keeping my spine straight. Taking deep breaths here, bringing my head down to my knee, just focusing on the breath. This is a great posture for working on our hamstrings because when we're doing it one at a time, it's not too much coming at us at once. So it makes it a little bit more comforting. Just taking deep breaths here. Even though it's hard to breathe into the belly while it's constricted, we're gonna go a little bit slower, a little bit steadier so we can really fill up. And then when we're ready, we're gonna gently slide up the body, stacking the spine one vertebrae at a time. We're gonna open up into our wide-legged fold I'm gonna sit up nice and tall, inhaling our arms up. Then we're gonna exhale and fold forward here, reaching our arms out ever so gently, grounding our head. Deep breaths in, complete breaths out. Keeping our toes up towards the ceiling. Maybe walking the hands back to center, walking a little bit more forward, and then remaining here. If this feels hard on our back, we can always put our forearms down, sitting like this and making it a little bit more nourishing for our spine. If we need to, whatever is most comforting for us, three deep breaths. And bring our hands to center, walking into the body, stacking the spine one vertebrae at a time, and then gently bringing our left leg in, coming into our head to knee on the other side. Toes up towards the ceiling, centering the hips over this side, inhaling up, chest forward, hips forward, exhale and fold forward. Deep breaths in, complete breaths out. Breathing into any areas of tension and exhaling them out. Maybe walking our hands a little bit more forward Maybe engaging that thigh, helping us loosen up the low back, using the tricks that we already know to help us fold just a little bit more, lengthen just a little bit more, and breathing into any tension we're feeling. Ujjayi breath if any thoughts are on the mind. And then gently sliding up the body, stacking the spine one vertebrae at a time. We're going to bring both feet together, coming into our forward fold. Before we come into our fold, palms by our hips, pressing through, going into our staff. Hugging the shoulders together, chest forward, hips forward, deep breaths in, complete breaths out. Just two more, feeling a nice, straight, confident spine. Inhaling our arms up, chest up, hips forward. Exhaling, folding forward. Bring our head as close to our knees as it want to be. Our hands anywhere they want to be. For some of us, that's right here. For others of us, that's all the way in. 
no matter where we're at, realizing that this practice is going to get us a little bit further every single time. Deep breaths in, complete breaths out. Just three more. And coming up the body, stacking the spine one vertebrae at a time and coming onto our knees. So cat cow we used for a week of heart opening. Cat cows are also great for our forward folds. Um, because it helps us inflect our spine back and it helps us loosen it up. We haven't done a lot of heart opening, so the dipping forward is actually gonna be a little bit rougher than going up right now. We're just going to be with our body and noticing it and not feeling any, any tension about it, just noticing that our, our practice is actually working. Inhaling, engaging the shoulders, dropping the hips, eyes up. Exhaling, pressing through the fingers, chin into our chest, belly into our back. Deep breaths in, complete breaths out. Really inflecting our spine, exaggerating the movement. And just three more deep breaths. This should feel very nurturing after our folds. This is gonna start and get us ready for extended puppy. Coming back to our center, we're gonna walk our forearms down, preparing our body for our puppy. Now, we're gonna walk our hands out grounding our forehead onto the ground. I'm gonna stay here so that I can chat with you for a minute during it. Um, our extended puppy is a lot like our downward facing dog, it's, but it's a, it inverts just a little bit more. Again, we wanna have our knees right underneath our hips. I had them a little bit back, which allows my top body to sink a little bit more, but it takes some of the support away from it. So we want our knees right underneath our hips, just keeping our body safe, comfort, and, and healthy. Um, we're going to just keep on deep breathing here. And then we're going to actually go into some twists, just like we do in our child's pose. So whenever you're ready, walking your hands back in. We're going to take our right arm, thread it underneath our left, bring our left up and overhead, gently opening up our shoulders, taking, massaging our shoulders, if you will, with our body weight. Just taking deep breaths here. It's a gentle twist as well, so it's opening one of our obliques while it's helping us detox. Three more deep breaths here. And then gently switching sides, taking our left arm underneath our right, our left temple down, just gently gazing to the right side, deep breaths in, complete breaths out. Slow and steady. Just three more. And gently coming back to center, walking the hands forward, grounding the head, coming back into our extended puppy. And we're in our extended puppy. We wanna lose the tension. Our elbows are gonna ground. We're gonna reach our hands out, and then just gently ground our forearms. Our elbows might lightly go out to the side. We're gonna let them and we're gonna let our tension just be what it is. The only thing we don't wanna do 
is reached through our shoulders. You'll see here, as I'm reaching through, it actually detaches my shoulders from my back. Instead, we're just gonna let the shoulders gracefully go so as we walk our hands forward, still holding those shoulders together in the back, keeping them part of our, our whole body and not independent entities. And then gently walking our arms in, we're gonna come onto our back, going into our Savasana. Grounding both of our feet, finding our comfort, letting go of our tension. We're going to inhale our arms up and overhead, engaging a very light full body stretch before we come into our Savasana. Letting go of tension in our toes, in the soles of our feet, in our ankles, our calves, and our shins, in our knees, our hips, and our lower back, in our belly and our chest, in our shoulders and our upper back, letting go of our tension throughout our arms and our elbows, forearms, and wrists, grounding the palms if any thoughts are on our mind. Then coming up to our neck, finding that happy spot on our neck where our head is free of tension. And returning our breath to our everyday normal breathing. For the next minute, we have nowhere to go and nowhere to be but right here and right now. Listening to the sounds and feeling the sensations of our immediate presence. into the body, lightly massaging the fingers and the toes amongst one another. Bring our hands to our heart and one knee into our chest at a time. Gently rocking into our sleeping baby, preparing our body for motion. And then pressing through the ground beneath us, coming to our seat. Bring your hands to our heart, closing our eyes, reflecting on the intention we set in the beginning of our practice, and the only moments in which we met him, and then bowing to one another, and our beautiful bodies honoring the light within one another, which is the same. Namaste. Thank you so much for another wonderful day. I'm, I'm ever blessed uh, for you practicing with me. Thank you so much. I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye.